video, we're going to show you how to vertically center content using the Divi Builder. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're in the back end of WordPress. We're using the latest versions of WordPress for all of these needs. We've got this sample page that comes stock with Divi. We're going to load up some a layout into this uh, into this page, and we're going to show you how to vertically center some of these different um, different pieces. So let's go ahead and load up the Divi Builder. Uh, and you know what, we're just gonna build something from scratch here. So we've got this sample content, and let's say we wanted to build a two column layout, right? Let's say we go here, and we're gonna make this thing a full width, which we've covered in a different tutorial. We'll link it up here with the card. You can go and check that video out on how to do full width sections and full width rows. Um, we're going to fly through this real quick. If you need more attention, go ahead and check that video out. So we're going to do this. And what we want to set up here on one of these columns is um, to vertically center this stuff using CSS. We're going to go into settings. We're going to go into the column that we want to vertically center and advance tab here. And we're going to set something on this main element. Display. Flex. That throws the, the whole setup of this thing off quite a bit. And there's another line of code we want to put, which is justify content center. And we are going to do flex direction column. So as we checks this change this section we're going to go and add a sizing to it you know and we let's put a height of 800 pixels and you can see here everything is not a hundred percent because it's not matching up to the size so what we need to do is go under here the sizing and set the height of this row to be a hundred percent with the section so now the section is here the row is all the way through and you can see this content sits right in the middle. So I wanna go slow again through these settings as I'm gonna take this padding down just a little bit. I'm gonna take the margin down just a little bit and I wanted to make sure the row was 100%. So what we're gonna look at again here just so that you guys get all the way through is we've taken this, the section, we'll start with the biggest part. So there's the section piece, right? We'll come into the design and we're going to look at the spacing. So we've, we've shrunk everything down to where the row takes up 100% of the section. There's no gaps above or below or to the left and the right. And then we set the sizing that we wanted of 800 pixels. And this could be 100% view height as well if we wanted to do that. And that way it takes up all of the view height. And then what we went into the row is we went under sizing. We equalize the column heights, that way everything is, is 100%. We set the width to 100%, the content to 100%, that way it takes up the whole frame all the way across the, uh, the website, the full width. And then inside of the row, we went into the individual row, the first row, or first column rather, sorry, and we went under advanced, custom CSS, and we added this little bit of code here, display flex, justify content to the center, and flex direction column. So it's saying everything is in a column, and we wanted the things centered to the middle. This is really nice because it doesn't matter what we put in here. If we were to go and add another piece of content, you see there's still the same gap in the top as there is in the bottom. And this would work the same if we went and added in an image. You know, it'll just shift the content around so that there's the same amount of gap in the top and the bottom. And we'll delete this to where things sit in the middle. And then from there, you can adjust your spacing as you need. So if we went into the first column and we decided spacing here on the left and right is going to be 2%. Now it shifts everything in just a little bit. And your content isn't stuck to the end of the screen. And it looks it looks good, right? So then you could you could do a lot of different things here. We could go under the second column. We could upload an image as the background. Let's say this gaming. You know, it's one we use for our other stuff. So let's say we use that one. And then under the text, you know, we can change this. Well, let's highlight the whole thing. 
Divi Gaming, and we can get some just generic text. So let's go to uh, just a text generator, grab some content. And we'll come back over here and we'll just drop it in. And then we'll change this text here. Let's say we're gonna make this a heading two. So then you've got a little something going on here, right? And we can change all the styles you know, build this out real quick. H2. I'm gonna make it all caps. And we'll go ultra bold. And maybe make the font size a little bit bigger. Perfect. So, so we change the, the regular text as well. You know, we want it to be not completely black, but very close to. So let's just shift this up just a bit. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe we adjust the line height a bit. That reads a little bit better. And say this is going to be our section. You know, we can we can definitely shrink it in a little bit if we go back into the into the section. You'll see here as we change the sizing tab on this section where we have a hundred view height, we could go six hundred pixels the whole thing shrinks in, but the content is still vertically centered. And then as we go up, down, all around, the content stays vertically centered. And this works, so you can set a minimum height, let's say 600 pixels. We don't want it to go any smaller than that. So then as we go below that, it won't drop. But then as we get bigger, above 600, it's going to keep that. So then that keeps the look we're looking for here, and you can adjust it across the different, different screen sizes. So this is a simple little line of code that we're going to drop in the, the actual blog post on our website. We'll link the blog post up in the description of this video. And we're, if you're on the website, below here you're going to have this little snippet of code. And you can take this and drop it into a column. You can drop it into a section if you want to vertically center everything. Um, it just works. It's very, it's very convenient. It's very easy. I hope that this, uh, this is something very useful. I know we've seen a lot of questions about this in different forms and different groups online, and it's, uh, it's something that I think is gonna bring you some value, and this is a clean, super easy way to do it. So thanks for checking out the video. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you really liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna get some more tips along the lines of this video for Divi. And uh, yeah, we'll see you again in the next video. Have an awesome day, stay safe.